nine of cups. Okay, so you could be very focused on what's making you happy on yourself and also on feeling that your person is someone you really want to be with. You know, you really want this, this connection. You really want it to work. You're seeing it as a connection that would make you very happy. We have the four of wands reversed. However, um, it could be that there's a lot of potential here that's not grounding. For some of you, you might also be feeling that there's a lot of um, a lot of enjoyment, a lot of passion. Um, maybe you've even, you know, been on dates and that sort of thing with your person. You spend time together, but. Um, the, as I said, the commitment is not coming through. So that's the sort of, I suppose, shadow side of these this pairing here that we have. You know, there's all the fun, but where is the st stability? Where is the grounding? But um, definitely lots of potential either way. With the Four of Wands, the eleven eleven, you could be feeling like this is a twin flame or an incredibly high vibrational soul connection. You know, you sometimes maybe you've tried to pull away, but you get drawn back in, that sort of thing. We have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Six of Swords. Hmm, okay. Some of you, if there is a third party, whether it's, um, you know, romantic, parental, something at work, you might be wishing that your person would just move on, you know, move on from that person because from your perspective, it's a troublesome, difficult situation anyway. We have the Tower in reverse. Okay, <clears throat> we have the star. Do you know what I'm feeling? Some of you might be saying to yourselves, you're heading for a disaster here. You know, what's that song? I'm sure it's Taylor Swift. Um, what is it? I can't, I'm not even getting the melody or anything. I'm sure she has a song about essentially how she knows she's about to get in herself into trouble with like this bad boy or something, you know, but she's doing it anyway. Let me know. <laughs> I, I'm sure it's Taylor Swift. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there are many, many songs about that sort of thing. But anyway, um, so some of you might be feeling like this feels so good. Um, I'm loving this connection. The highs are super high, but I know that when there's a low, it's going to be a disaster. I'm not saying it will be, but you might be feeling that way. You might be a bit on guard here as well because you're feeling that, that you know, because of this lack of stability, lack of grounding, maybe the foundation isn't um, stable. And for some of you, there could be a third energy here. You might be saying, I do need to protect myself to some degree here. What am I getting myself into or what am I continuing with here? So we have Scorpio, we have Aquarius, we have Taurus and Libra popping out there with the Empress. We have the Two of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. There are so many queens and we have the Hermit in reverse on the back. So we have Virgo energy. <clears throat> okay. These queens could be you saying there are way too many feminine energies here involved. What's feeling the strongest for me though, whether there are other people or not in your connection, is that these are these energies are you. And I'm seeing an image from like a film sequence, you know, where you see one person in their home and it's, it's sort of, it's pieced together that you see them standing, say, by the phone and then they're sitting having dinner and then they're in the kitchen, you know, and we see them doing different things and it kind of looks like there are many people, but it's just this one, do you know what I mean? One person standing in different places. That's what I feel. It's like you're sitting here as the Queen of Pentacles and then you're saying, hmm, I should have my guard up. I think I'll walk away, you know, six of swords. This isn't this isn't going anywhere. It's it's causing me emotional turbulence here, but then no, actually I can't pull away because I'm this queen of cups and I have all of this love, this emotion for my person. So the different sides, the different faces almost, it, it's like I'm here, I'm committed to this, I'm grounded. Actually, I'm not getting back what I'm giving out necessarily. I'm, I'm a queen of pentacles, whereas my king of pentacles, I think I'll put my guard up. I'm a bit cross now. I think I'll pull away. Hmm. I've pulled away for a while. I'm feeling drawn back in. Do you know what? Do you know what I mean? And maybe that's why the tower is here in reverse because you might be saying, "What am I doing? And what is going on here? When? When is this tower moment going to come in? Either I know something's going to blow up in my face, or you might be saying, "When is the tower coming in to remove?" all of this energy that feels like it's in and out, it's not concrete, maybe there are too many people involved somehow, because at the core of this, with the star, 
you know, and the nine of cups, there's a deep understanding of this is an incredible connection and I always feel guided towards it. And if we push aside all of the noise, all of the nonsense, it feels pure, it feels right, you know, it feels right for me. Um, and it's, I want to be here for this, I want to see this grow. And I do believe that the feelings here are reciprocated from my person. You know, we have the two of cups here. So that equal give and take. And I feel that that's not something you're trying to deny. You're honouring that in the 3D. That's why we have this nine of cups out first. And um, for some of you, there could even be a resilience here saying, no, this is this is what I desire. This is what I want. Um, I'm not going to sort of just call it quits, even if sometimes I do need to pull back and self-nurture. OK, so let's see what else we can get here. Yeah, temperance, balance, so Sagittarius there, death in reverse, Scorpio again, we have the nine of wands, ten of swords in reverse, yeah, okay, nine of swords on the back, so some worry, some anxiety, maybe finding that sometimes you, you're you sort of overthinking, finding that you're thinking um, about this more than you would even like, maybe, um, okay, there is a sense of a bit of suspicion here. I've got my guard up. I've been hurt by past cycles, past actions. Um, and, you know, I've, I've tried to do my healing. I've tried to move past it. Some of it is still lingering. You know, I still have memories of, of things that have happened that haven't felt great. And because of that, I'm not 100% open. I'm not coming bursting through the door like this page of cups. You know, I have more experience than that. Some of you might also be saying to spirit, the divine God, you know, whatever, however you think of that energy, what are you doing to me? What is this connection? I'm, I know I'm supposed to trust and have faith, but seriously, can you not see how battered and bruised I am? What What is the point of this? Why do you keep, drawing me and this person together or why do I keep being drawn into this connection when I finally decide to pull away and I try and make a good decision for myself why am I drawn back in um you know when I'm not seeing maybe something come through that I need to see or I'm not seeing change behavior I just feel there's a suspicion here and even a bit of anger you know like you're throwing your hands up to the sky and you're saying what are you doing to me I'm, I'm trying to be proactive I'm trying to do the best I can why do you keep giving me signs? What do those signs mean? You know, that kind of an energy. When when am I going to see some tangible movement here? So let's see. Five of swords reversed, seven of wands reversed, seven of cups reversed, and the chariot, cancer energy. We have the magician on the back in the reverse, Gemini energy. For some of you, the message from the divine is, um, Conflict, confusion, resistance. It's too small for you. This energy is too small for you. That's very ego-based, very 3D driven. You are beyond that. We have the, the magician and underneath we have Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor. Don't let this lower vibrational 3D energy keep you stuck. It's natural to feel it. You are here after all as a human living this human experience. So honor those feelings, but rise above. Remember, you are the magician. You have the magician's wand here, but you're here in the 3D. So take that power that you have. We have the yin and the yang. We have polar opposites here and do what you need to do to get yourself in a place where you feel in control, you feel in charge. The chariot follows the star. So the divine is saying, yes, you're correct. This is very special. Um, and you were also correct. It's very challenging. This is a high vibrational, intense connection. But the thing is, you are a high vibrational being. You are a very evolved soul here. So you are, you are very much up to the challenge. But look, see, this is the thing. This is how you might feel, understandably, but the divine is saying, no, this is you. You you know, look, you're here in this chariot. You're not this, you know, person here who's wounded and, and feels afraid and vulnerable. You're very powerful. You're very strong. It's about remembering that it's it's if you're dealing with this very divine connection, you kind of have to respond in a similar way with that incredibly high vibrational energy versus how we might respond in a regular connection do you know what well, that's not right to say um let's say i've fallen out with my neighbor because they keep putting their rubbish in my bin and i think use your own damn bin you know <laughs> that has actually happened though it sounded like it had um that's a silly thing and i might feel irritated 
this connection is way bigger than anything so silly, you know? So we have to bring, if we're looking for the next step or a solution or forward movement, we have to bring something that's equal to this connection. So Spirit's asking you to tap into your very divine energy here. Um, I hope that makes sense. I think I'm not being as clear as I could be. kind of like trying to break down an iceberg with um, a cocktail stick. That's just not going to work, you know. You need something bigger um, and you have, you have that bigger thing and that's what Spirit's encouraging you to bring. So this could take the form of um, centering yourself through meditation, some sort of grounding activity, drawing up a plan to consciously manifest, to co-create with the universe, Doing something that reminds you that you are at the centre of this connection alongside your person. Any other influences are external. So take your power back from whatever those are. Okay, right, let me just move on because I feel like I cannot, I'm not getting to what exactly is that I want to say, but I hope you get my meaning here. Okay, anything else please? Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, uh, Five of Cups, Four of Swords. Wow. So I wonder if you've seen something even recently, possibly, that maybe has thrown you into turmoil or stress or worry. But remember, this is like a, almost a side note. If you've seen something that's been stressful, just remember the Nine of Swords is imagining worst case scenarios. So you might be misinterpreting what you've seen. It might be much better, actually, than, than you're thinking. Five of Cups is seeing something again in the wrong way. So... Um, Let's say you saw something on social media or you heard something pass through the, the grapevine. It's like you haven't got the whole picture or somebody left out a crucial piece of information when they told it to you that would actually completely change the meaning here. And then we have the Four of Swords. There's a real message here to rest, relax, rest your mind here. Um, and we have the Wheel of Fortune on the back. So there could be new energy coming in for this connection. You know, um, if you feel things have been stagnant, if you feel that nothing good has been coming in, it's been very difficult. There's definitely a lot of forward momentum here. Okay, so let's get some of these message cards as well. Um, I'm seeing a hamster. I don't know what hamsters could possibly mean um, in terms of like a, a spirit animal, but um, yeah, if you know, let me know. But also maybe a hamster is like a special thing for you. I don't know. Okay, so we have, I pray for you all the time and do healing work on your behalf. Okay, so you might be including them in your prayers, in your meditations. Can I trust you to not break my heart again? That's exactly it. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here with this guarded energy, you know, queen of swords. I think I should protect and close off. Oh, but look, my heart's decided something else. Now I'm this queen of cups with all this love to give. I don't feel threatened by the karmic anymore. They are just playing their role, okay. So the karmic here could be a person romantic or otherwise, an energy. We could be talking about an old karmic cycle here. You might be saying, right, I've learned the lesson, I'm done with that, let's move forward. The journey has been difficult but needed. I am proud of who I have become. Amazing, good. Yeah, and Spirit's proud as well, saying, you know, you are this person in the chariot here. Very powerful, very impressive. I honestly don't think anyone will love you more than I do, just saying. Yeah, and we go back to that Nine of Cups energy, you know, very clear about your desire for your person and this connection. And we have, I wish you would tell me how you really feel so I don't have to get readings on you. What a perfect <laughs> and appropriate message for us to um, sort of begin to close on here. Okay, so let's have one of these, a sacred light oracle, before we move into your person's perspective of things. Yep, 
Yeah, number one, angelic realms. So the number one in tarot we know is the magician. So we're back to that message again, that you are incredibly powerful. And the angelic realms, a team effort, charity, validation, and patience. This is validation to you that the divine is here paying attention, you haven't been forgotten, validation that this is a very divine connection. Um, and it's a team effort between you, your person, the divine, no one else, nobody who's interfering here in the 3D. You know, they can just sort of keep their business to themselves or no, keep their nose in their own, whatever. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> anyway, here you are, here's the card. Okay, so yeah, hugely spiritual, hugely, um, huge energy. Uh, very, very profound energy as well. We have horses on this card, we have wolves, no hamsters, we have um, some angels, feathers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'll leave all of these cards out actually and we will move into your person's perspective. Right, Spirit, can you please show us how does this how does this situation look from my viewer's person's perspective? So how does my viewer's person that they're here for today see the situation? How do they feel? What are they thinking? What's their perspective, please? How does my viewer's person perceive this situation? What is their perspective? Seven of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Interesting, your person is starting off in this kind of defensive energy here. Um, there's a guardedness, uh, possibly a fear. I feel some of them are showing me that They've, they've had a guard up maybe since the beginning, since the both of you met, um, to diff, you know, differing degrees. Sometimes it's quite low, sometimes the guard is higher. And there's, a, there's kind of a silly energy I'm getting that they maybe put on or project um, as a way of deflecting attention. So if, I have, if I'm holding something and I'm worried about people seeing it, I might try and hide it under my jumper and then I'll say, oh, look at that over there, you know, that kind of an energy. And this silly behaviour, I think, maybe is what in the past has caused you pain. On their end, they felt it was just silly, it was frivolous, it wasn't a big deal. But the consequences for you were a big deal. So it could be, you know, Knight of Wands, it could be that they were there one minute, you couldn't get hold of them the next, or they were very um, communicative and then they went quiet, or they were interested in you, but then pursuing other people as well. Or maybe this can be travel, maybe they were around and suddenly they just packed up and, and left and didn't tell you, you know? But for them, they were like, oh, it's fine, it's, it's not a big deal, I'll just go here, I'll just go there. But for you, of course, it felt like they just disappeared or, or whatever, you know, um, in your situation, but it was a big deal. I think there's an understanding now, though, that yes, actually, what past actions, past energy has had a bigger, bigger influence, a bigger effect than they intended, because we have the wheel of fortune. So it somehow shaped a cycle that you have both been in, um, in a huge way, almost like it's been shaping their destiny or persons realizing, hold on, what I am doing is actually shaping how my future turns out. You know, beyond the obvious, if we apply for a job, we start working in that job. You know, that's obvious, but they're understanding on like an energetic level, the intentions, how they treat people, the small things they do every day. And what did it lead to? Maybe a missed opportunity here with you. Okay. Yeah, ten of wands in reverse. So there's um, a weight that they're carrying about having had a guard up. I do actually still feel that to some degree the guard is still up, but at least they're aware now that it's maybe counterproductive. Um, and it seems like it's something they want to change. Yeah, look at this, ace of wands in reverse. All of this flighty energy, um, not grounding themselves, starting up different things here and there, different maybe opportunities, pursuing different things or people and not really making a go of it with any of them. Um, you have the hanged man in reverse. 
and the seven of cups in the reverse yeah you are your person's focus now we have the queen of wands on the back so whether you're a fire sign or not leo aries sagittarius um your person sees you as being someone who's charismatic warm strong independent um very attractive internally externally um but also look look in this depiction very protective now you're protecting yourself and we did just see that you're not sort of saying here I am and here are my feelings for you because maybe you, you did that in the past and your person was a knight, a knight of wands and you were the queen, you know, man or woman, the queen of wands. Um, so you inevitably have felt a bit disappointed, a bit let down um, and are a bit guarded now. I think your person feels that they've let themselves down. Let's go back around because I'm seeing a lot here about your person's perspective. It, perspective is that they've come to some kind of awakening some kind of realization and they're saying hmm maybe i shouldn't have behaved like that in the past so okay fine where is it they're wanting to go look at this ten of cups you see your person wants to drop this guard they want to embrace all of this potential in front of them and what they're saying is i now see that what was an opportunity in the past that i could have taken or left could have developed incredibly into 10 cups. I mean, that's amazing. So I wonder, the guard could be, oh, it could be so many things. It could be a fear that if you really see them, you you wouldn't like them, or you would, if they have insecurities, you might feel that they're not, you know, impressive enough or good enough. It could be that they were wounded at some point in their past, and now they have to kind of almost reconnect with those softer emotions and rediscover them so many things but they're saying yeah i wish i i could drop this now you know i'm, I'm sort of thinking about how i can be more open and less guarded ah, look at this yep king of swords your person is showing up as having so much more clarity and awareness and wisdom than they had before and they've leveled up from a knight to a king they've also gone from this energy of being playful um a bit silly even to very very serious and of course you know we want playful energy always but we need a balance so it's almost like they're saying i'm going to go a bit too far into being very serious you know very logical very direct with you just to prove that i've changed um i really want you to see absolutely the fall i'm, I'm beginning again here Okay, we have the Hierophant, so we have Taurus energy here. If your person is in a commitment with a person who isn't you, or it's a commitment to a belief, a tradition, a religion, an established institution somehow, they might be saying, it's time I get moving, it's time I get going and leave this behind. With the Hanged Man in reverse, they may have been thinking about this for a long time. They've known within for a long time that they're best served by moving on, um and they're saying okay it's about time i actually make this change also if they have been afraid of making this commitment they're saying right okay it's about time i start moving this forward with you this connection into a higher level of commitment okay and we have the three of wands so they're trying to manifest some forward movement here um for you their intention their their desires the action they're taking could look quite passive um, we have the Four of Cups in reverse, so they're saying, yes, I want this Ace of Cups back. I know now that there has been a, a past here, a history, um, that maybe I've had several chances and I wasted them or we had our struggles, but now I, I kind of would love to have another chance here. Let's see, what are they doing to try and manifest you and, and this connection moving forward? What are they doing, please, Spirit? What is this person doing? What's their action here? Okay, but turning a new leaf. So their their action is quite internal. Right now they're sorting themselves out. They're getting into alignment with the person that they envision themselves being, um, trying to become the best version of themselves that they can. And they're very focused on this connection. They're saying, I feel, I believe the feelings are mutual. Even if we haven't spoken in the longest time, I feel in my heart space that you and I are still connected, that we still you know, have these feelings for each other. But I understand there's some work to do to turn this connection around. Um, so, okay, 
and look we have the high priestess on the back so they feel very connected to you energetically as well so if you have been thinking of them as i said in your prayers and your meditations i do see that they're picking up on that energy so your person is doing a lot of inner work right now let me see where it is they're wanting to head or you know what do they want to to see happening moving forward Okay, six of wands, six of swords in reverse. I think they actually want to re sort of um, address things that happened in the past. If they could, they would want to redo them, but you know they can't. So they're saying, I at least want to revisit them verbally and discuss them with you. Yeah, four of cups in reverse. I want to take this opportunity that I'm being given, you know, from you, from the universe, and to really make something of it this time. I want to be this magician, and spirit is encouraging both of you to step into your power as the magician here. The tower in reverse i want to bring this back from the brink i know maybe it might very nearly be over but i'm hoping it, it isn't too late here so we have aries aquarius gemini scorpio sagittarius taurus i think i already said okay right so let me get some messages here so lots of inner reflection, awareness, and actually making changes to show up in a new way. And um, your person's guard is still up, not just with you, I think it's a thing in general, you know, and they're saying to themselves, okay, how do I overcome this? How do I begin to be more open? Um, they could, maybe they're realizing as well that being open doesn't necessarily mean being vulnerable. Okay, messages please from this person to my viewer. What would they like to say? I feel so stupid for choosing lust over love. So for some of you, yes, that Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands is saying that they were perhaps pursuing other less serious connections um, because they weren't challenging, they felt safer, maybe they got to keep their guard up. And they're saying, well, that was silly, wasn't it? So, okay. Will you marry me? We did have the Hierophant. Okay, so definitely interested in um, a serious level of commitment here. Sometimes, because I know we will be together, I take you for granted. Wow, that's definitely an energy of the past. And I can even see that here. And now it's like they're kicking themselves because, um, you know, you, you are more guarded with them. You are the Queen of Swords energy at times, you know, and you are sort of... Um, you don't necessarily trust everything they're showing you don't take it at face value hmm okay for some of you they might even be feeling that maybe it's not a guarantee that you will be together maybe they're wondering did they push you away completely is it too late and that has woken them up I don't care what my family or anyone else has to say. I want you and nobody else, okay? So if the Hierophant is talking about tradition, maybe you're from different backgrounds, religions, um, your families have different expectations for the both of you in terms of who you will end up with, this person saying, I, I finally don't care, you know, or I'm finally ready to tell them that that's not important to me. What's important to me is how I feel. Um, also, the, the third party or that, that karmic energy could be, you know, family if it's not a romantic partner. Mm. At first I thought, I'm hearing that song, um, first I was afraid, was it first I was afraid I was petrified, is that it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, at first I thought it was only sexual attraction, but it's so much more than that. I love you, mind, body and soul. So, um, where is it? I feel so stupid for choosing lust over love. Maybe they thought you were just one of a bunch or a few or, you know, that sort of thing. And then they realised, wow, this connection stands head and shoulders above the rest. Okay, I wonder if there is someone else who can make you happier than I can. So there, there maybe are some insecurities there. You are the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. And I do believe that with that Queen of um, Wands energy that came out. Okay. 
So yeah, with this potentially sort of, um, you know, this energy of, of having multiple connections, that sort of thing, it doesn't always have to be that your, your person, for some of you it will be, but it doesn't always have to be that a person says, I'm turning my back on you and I'm going to pursue other people instead or as well. It can sometimes be that when you meet the person, that's their lifestyle and it takes them a while to realise that this is, is actually a special connection worth noticing. Um, so it doesn't always have to be quite so sinister, you know? But, you know, you, you will know um, depending on what's happened in your connection. So let's finish up with a Sacred Light Oracle message for your person. Okay, we have <clears throat> the number 20 and it says light body. Independence brings comfort, past restrictions, ancestral healing. Absolutely. So I'll show you the card first of all. So independence brings comfort. Once your person realises that they are strong within, they won't need to have up this guard where they're distracting people, trying to, um, you know, it's like um, like some sort of prison bar, you know, like the light shines on and they try to reflect it off, like don't look at me. They won't need to feel that way. Past restrictions could be, you know, trying to please other people, um, dealing with this guard, guard they have up, any other third sorts of energies and um, the ancestral healing I don't know, maybe they do have ancestral healing to do, maybe they're healing family wounds, um, maybe wounds from their parents have been passed down to them and that's dictated how they've seen you or this connection or themselves even. So this to me talks about growth, change, healing, releasing, you know, releasing the past, releasing those restrictions. So awesome, good. So you, I think your person is being supported in, in making this change stepping into their power and um the divine really wants to say to you today we you know we see you we haven't forgotten you and we would love for you to remember your power you know to stand in it or to continue to stand in it um and no matter what's going on who's interfering in the 3d that that doesn't even compare to the in incredible connection the high level connection you have here with your person so let them do all the silly interfering that they want you know, if you and your person are aligned with yourselves and each other, it's it's it just doesn't matter. You know, so let them tie themselves out. Don't pay them any attention. Um, right. OK, so I will clear this away. I'm going to then move into the one question, one card. So if you're sticking around, excellent. If you're heading off, thank you for being here. Hopefully I will see you again on Monday. OK, so thank you, everybody, for your questions. So today's winners are... Um, Jenny Girl for Life, Tonya Kluh, and um, Eunice Wrangle. Okay, so let's begin with Jenny. So Jenny Girl for Life, your question is, will he continue to open up to me? So let's see, Spirit, what message do you have, please? What message do you have for Jenny? Will he continue to open up to me? Ooh, Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords. Six of Wands, to me this looks like a very big yes. Um, I feel like your person is seeing that maybe after a period of separation or feeling lonely, um, whether it's there was separation and he felt lonely because he missed you or maybe he just has felt lonely for a long time, he's recognising this now as a chance for warmth, passion, um, basically a new exciting opportunity and we have the Queen of Swords. Upright, this is an energy of someone who is saying, um, mm, my communication is, op is honest, it's open to a point, I am guarded but I'm not hiding anything, um, I'm just saying that if you seem like you're going to present a threat, I will cut you off. Do you know what I mean? So there is something here that has, has made him feel that he needs to be on the lookout in some way, whether that's connected directly to you and your connection or again something else entirely. But the Queen of Swords Upright is someone who is wise. They've taken the lessons they've learned 
left the pain behind but they've added you know added to their their wisdom here so yeah honest communication it doesn't seem the softest or maybe even necessarily the most friendly but it's definitely it's welcome you know she's got her hand up she's saying you know come forward speak to me so yeah he wants to keep opening up um speaking with you being honest direct with you um and yeah there is success here as well so what i will say is if when you're moving this forward if it seems like he's not showing you everything i don't think he is he's kind of sort of keeping his feelings a bit hidden um but if you ever feel well maybe he doesn't really want to talk to me he seems a bit i get sort of these very short answers and he's he you know he doesn't laugh at my jokes and it's all very serious um i wouldn't take that personally i think that's just him you know feeling the situation out I, I see he actually does enjoy talking with you and wants to open up here to continue to do so and, and is looking for success as well so i think that's a yes okay so tonya let's have a look so spirit what message do you have for tonya please so what is my person thinking right now what is my person thinking right now so let's see tonya's person what are they thinking right now Okay, King of Wands reverse, Four of Swords, Seven of Cups, Page of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Swords reversed, Hanged Man. Um, okay, your person is thinking about their past behaviour. So it looks like your person, as far as they're concerned, their past behaviour was very self-driven. What do I want? How do I want it to look? How do I want it to happen? How does this make me feel? How much can I receive without giving? So now your person's reflecting and saying, hmm, if I'm honest with myself, how do I feel about that? How do I feel about how I behaved in the past? If I was flaky or indecisive, if I didn't want to commit or I was slow to commit or I, I fell back on my commitment how do I feel about that now and the answer is not entirely great so right now your person is doing some deep self-reflection and asking themselves am I showing up as someone that I can be proud of so if you were tied up in this behavior in the past I think that your person is feeling some some disappointment within themselves and some regret here as well and actually with the number five hopefully planning to make a change um, because they do not like what they're seeing upon reflection. And we do have the Two of Swords in reverse. So this is them saying, let me not blind myself. Let me look directly at what I've been contributing here. Because I feel in the past, maybe there was an unwillingness to even give, you know, the smallest amount. Um, let's see how your person would like to start showing up. Oh, look, healed and um, bringing high vibration and hope. We have the star, the star in the, the Ten of Wands. So right now your person is thinking, yeah, if I can only make a huge, um, if I can only make a, a massive change here to how I've been showing up, that's going to be an amazing starting point and everything will fall into place from there. So we just need to take that step and bring the tower down. And the tower doesn't have to be, oh my goodness, my life, I've got to rebuild for the next nine months. This can be one moment of like a crystal clear idea coming to you or like some unfiltered clarity and truth and it just hits you, it's striking. And that's that can be a tower moment and everything changes from there and that's what's happening, I think, um, for your person. Okay, so Eunice, let's see. So you've said, does he recognize our connection? So let's see, Spirit. What message do you have for Eunice, please? So does her person, does he recognize their connection? Okay. Does he recognize their connection? <laughs> need we pull any more cards no the two of cups that's a yes i don't know if there's a music um or, or musical connection between you or something like that um but i'm hearing lots of music in my head so two of wands in reverse six of cups reverse ten of cups reverse devil in reverse so yeah your person does recognize your connection very very clearly and um he's also saying um it's it's such a connection such a powerful connection that it makes me want to 
step far outside of my comfort zone and address anything that's in my current reality that's holding me back and put that in the past. So, so your person, he recognises your connection and he's inspired to make change, to basically pursue this connection and his own happiness. Um, so I don't think I even need to expand on that. I mean, yeah, he absolutely does. And he understands it's mutual. It's all encompassing, you know, it, it crosses many levels. We've got the basic levels here of respect and appreciation. We have friendship, we have reciprocity, we have romantic feelings, we have just really sincere, genuine feelings. The kind of energy um, we might see in Oracle cards where it says, I just want you to be happy. You know, those feelings for one another. So um, yeah, that's a yes. Okay, so I will leave this here. So thank you everyone for being here, for watching. Take care, have a lovely weekend and see you on Monday. Bye.